Hey y'all, so I'm here. I just got back home from New York and I am in the airport waiting for my bag to come. And here's one of them. Uh, I have a lot to do today and it's gonna be a great day. New styles are coming in from 1160 and I have to um, do a photo shoot today. Um, Shamika's working hard. We're going through some transitions in our office. So a lot is happening right now. And my mom is here to get me. So we'll see how this goes. Everybody is here and um, yeah. Okay, see you shortly. I'll show you how the day goes. Bye. Mommy came to get me from the airport. You look like a soccer mom today. Right, exactly. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Mommy came to get me from the airport. She missed prayer. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid on the way though. Uh oh. The sacrifices you make for your baby. Yeah. Wait. Did you miss me? I've been gone for a whole week. Poop -a -ba. <laughs> my hat in the way. I miss, so I miss my mommy. I miss my mommy, boo boo. Yeah, but I'm next to you Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get my car now. And then I have to take my wig and some other stuff. And that's it. So we'll show you. Bye bye. We have the lobster bisque and seafood gumbo. Is that broth broth -like? Pardon me? Broth -like. No, it's a little bit thicker. Is it? Yeah, and it's spicy, a little bit spicy. Let me try that. Okay, it's really My dad good. Okay, the camera. All right. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to get everything started. No bread. And was anyone a Landry Sub Club member? No. Yes, my husband. Okay. So I can take his card toward the end or phone number or whatever. Okay. Okay. Definitely. All right. Thank you so much. My name is Nora. Thank, thank you, Nora. Mommy. <laughs> you don't feel like being on video today. Um, uh oh. Really. <laughs> you look cute. You just pulled it over. Oh, I don't think so. Pull it over. See, that's what I'm saying. Pull it over. Pull what over? There you go. Okay. <laughs> so, question. What's one lesson that every daughter should know before 30? Before 30? Yes. Yeah. Uh, probably use wisdom. Wisdom. Use wisdom and making your decisions regarding your surroundings. Um, think about by 40, where you're going to be. You know, those are the things you, at before you get 30, you should be, you know, kind of mapping out. Asking God, most of all, get direction and all that ways acknowledge Him. He'll direct your path. I promise you, He will. He did it for me. Because when I was before, really, before uh, I got 30, I was praying that God will, you know, you know, direct every decision that I made, every path that I go down. And if it don't work out, close those doors. Some of y'all don't want to pray those prayers uh -oh. about telling God, Lord, close these doors that, that that you feel that's not in your will. Yeah. And that's very important. That we get, even though we want some things in life, but you know, you you want to be in God's will no matter what. Whether right. you want that or not. Right. Whether you want to be with this guy or not, you want to be in God's will. If that's not God's will, you better run. So just seek the Lord. That's important. And, and he'll give you guidance. Um, and that's that's a part of establishing a relationship with God so that you can get clarity in everything that you do. And that's how I got to the place of being, um, you know, successful in life. That, that's part of my advice. Thank you, Mommy. Sure. You said you didn't want to do it, but you was about to give us a whole revival. I didn't, but I always like to make time to give back. You know, it's like I'm in a time of my life, it's time for me to start giving back. Absolutely. You know, and I take every moment of that with with sincerity because 
we got to start, you know, even even us as mothers and parents, we got to start giving back. And y'all got to start listening. Right. Please start we listening. Have, have some type of mentorship in your life that don't feel like you know it all or, you know, I, don't, I got to have it this way. Or, no, you don't. Don't you know how we all made it thus far? Because we had mentorship. We, we, we were submissive to our leaders, our pastors. We were submissive. We took correction. So work on that. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a hard time listening? I've had a hard time listening, but I listen now. And I'm on the right path. My credit score is all right because of my parents. They're listening. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't get everything right, but I listen. So definitely. Daddy's still not here yet. He doesn't like the camera. Mommy is a little bit more easy, but I'm going to get him because I know y'all been asking about him. So give me a second. My mama is laughing at her own child about my sideburns curling up. She said I look like a Jew. I am a Jew. I am the children of Israel. Somebody else said I look like Penny. Janet Jackson. She is cracking up. <laughs> Everyone, this is my dear Papa Bear. My full eye. Man that I'm always uh, referencing and I am obsessed with. Would you like to say hello, full Okay, mommy just told me tips and I just want to know what would you tell every daughter um, the things that they must know what's one thing that they must know before 30 the first thing is you must know before 30 you must have a degree before 30 okay. uh, you must uh, or, or, or a vocation degree or a vocation okay. or and you must know that men, for the most part, uh, for the most part, of course, they are the exception, but men, for the most part, are, are not as uh, committed to feelings as women are. Okay. And they must know that a... Uh, a woman should be able to do for herself. Okay. What does that mean, though, when you say... Hi, how are you? How are you both? Good. Okay, one more thing. Who named me? I did. Really? Yes, I named you. I, I was teaching school, and one of my favorite students was T.L. Oh. And... and uh, me and Mama had decided if we had boys, they would have my initials. If they, we had girls, they would have your her initial. And so, um, my favorite student's name was Tiara, and I changed it to Kiara, and you got Mama's middle name. So clever, Father. Yeah. Who named me Kiki? I did. Uh, check, please. Oh, no dessert. Huh? No, no dessert. No, no, Coffee. No. All right, here's the next one. What'd you say? Who named you? Kiki, I did. Okay. Didn't, then, I, didn't I do that? Yeah. Dad and Mom's Playlist. Huh? Dad and Mom's Playlist. What are your favorite songs? Favorite artists? Oh, no, no. You're not going to do that? No, no, no. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> why? You're going to mess me up. Why? You're going to mess me up. Cause I, well, the, the, the only thing I can say is you and Mama and I, Dorinda, I can't. I can't say nobody else. You can. No, I can't. Mom, I can say this. My, I can't go to my second little song. Oh, Why not? Were you uh, Landry Club member? Oh, my. Yes, I am. <laughs> 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 like, interrupting me. Mm. All right. So, you don't want to say that? No, I'd rather not. That could be uh, self-incriminating. Well, okay. If I said my secular artist. My playlist is uh, when you have a number 
of artists in your playlist. Wow, I'm asking who is in your playlist. Oh, I got, oh, I got Ty Trubin, I got Mary Mary, I got Kiera, I got, um, oh, they all up in James Fortune. I got Curry. I can keep going. Oh. You only got so many on the playlist. All those stuff. Richard's Richard's Yeah, see, he is, is one of my favorite artists. But he's mostly uh, in my playlist. Now, when I want to just take a break and just have soothing moments, I'll go straight. All right, did you get that. your points on there? Oh. Okay. I'll take that whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> this lady keeps coming into nothing. Oh my God. How did you know mommy was the one? Like? How could you tell? Well, it got down to a situation where I knew where I was, where I was. And I needed somebody to compliment where I was going. And I had to think about what would be best for me in the future. And so your mom was, um, of course, I had to have someone attractive. But, uh, hey, what? Huh? What? What? I'm sorry, that was just funny. What is it? Of course, I had to have someone attractive. Well, she's just not calling me. I mean, uh, yeah, and so I had to have someone attractive, but I had to have someone who would enhance me and would be compatible to where I was going. Because I always knew that I, where, you know, I, I always had a feeling that I would be. Uh, in, well, I was in ministry when I started talking to mom, but I felt I would be deep in ministry as I am. So I had to think about what would be best for my future. I didn't want to be with someone who, you know, um, despised what I would be doing. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, what child is most like who? It's most like who? Yeah. Which child is most like who? Is Deju most like his father? Is Sierra most like her mom? Or vice versa? Sierra is most like her father. And you think Deju is most like you, mommy? Because mm -hmm. you be talking me, calling me Druella. <laughs> That's true. Okay, let's go. like me. Okay. Well, you all have a nice day. Thank you so much for... Um, doing this interview with Captain Kiara. I love you both so much. Bless you. Uh-oh, his daddy don't hit me with the bless you. <laughs> bless you.